Welcome to the Permian Basin, the home of the historic jewel built in 1887 by the Whites family. We sat down with a couple of members of the White Pool House who helped us take a step back in time. Odessa had great opportunities for them. They were able to purchase land on the railroad tracks. They purchased 640 original acres and then built the home here themselves. I'm about the age that Lucy was when they came out here to make a go of it. They brought their plans with them, they left their family, they left their friends, all to come out here and start afresh. To start fresh, many things had to be done. One of the most important resources to have back then was a source of water due to the dry land in West Texas. The windmills were central to life. Um, up until uh, water could be uh, produced through steam pumps, you had to have a source of water. Windmills were that life vein. Most notably at the White Pool House, there was an orchard, a pear and, a pear and peach orchard. It was huge. And of course they had to have water for their livestock. They had a, a pond just to the west of the barn where people were even uh, baptized. But when they went to sell these large tracts of land out here, they, you know, people would say, well, there is no, there is no rivers, there's no uh, large bodies of water. Well, you had to have windmills. If you didn't have a windmill, you couldn't possibly have survived. Uh, they really made a prosperous living, and they, they did a lot to form uh, the beginnings of Odessa. Um, actually, when Mr. White died, uh, people in the area, the, the common comments about White House it would have been back then was uh, not to buy it. It was so poorly built that surely it would fall in on your head as you slept. And here we are, 130 years later, at the oldest house in Nectar County. At that point, the home is sold to Oso Pool. Um, in 1923, he decides to move down, purchases the home and 50 of the acres. He was an entrepreneur and he really believed in you know, seeking new opportunities. So when the oil came through in the mid-20s, he thought it was just a perfect opportunity to use the home as a source of income but also to contribute to the community. So he thought, well, perfect. So he rents out the home uh, to different families. We've had visitors come through the home who have had their relatives. Uh, you know, grandmothers that have lived in the home when it was apartments. Oso Pool maintained ownership of the home for the entire time um, until it was turned into a museum. In 1979, he donated it to Ector County, and by the mid-1980s, it was turned into the museum that we see here today. A lot of the history is preserved in every corner of the house, from its clothing to antique objects in the pioneer era. One of the items, one of my favorite items, is a black dress. It is very elaborate and has uh, delicate beadwork, very formal. Um, in the kitchen, it's probably the room that most of our visitors draw the most connection to. There's many items that you'll remember, say perhaps your grandmother or your mother using uh, the canning, uh, the old toasters, even the irons, uh, ironing by hand, not having an electrical iron. Uh, those are items of interest that many people really enjoy looking at. It all couldn't be as it is without some retouches being done. The renovations of the White Pool House were all-encompassing and complete. There is not an inch of this place that has not been touched. Some of the more recent renovations would have been the cellar. Uh, Vandals would kick out the windows and we have to replace windows and of course when we get torrential floods it floods down there uh, We had to have a door made for the cellar uh, The wallpaper which was lovingly and painstakingly restored and extremely expensive in New York um, It is all screen printed and it took 20, about 20 passes per design to have it done um, of course, uh, we have central air, central heat, the electrical is up to code, uh, plumbing. The White Pool House Friends is a group of private citizens devoted to the history of Ector County. Uh, they were formed in 1986 to protect, promote, and preserve uh, the White Pool House and as much as possible the history of Ector County. 
Um, we raise the money for the day-to-day -day operations and we also raise the money so that we do have a staff to operate it. Like any other home, it has expenses, and in order to keep it afloat, the White Pool House opens its doors not only as a museum, but as a place to host special events. Most recently, we began hosting events on the grounds of the White Pool House, and everything we raised through the weddings and uh, family events, Everything that we raise goes to keeping this house open and free to the public. Uh, our main reason for doing so is fundraising and also to establish the importance of the museum in the community. We feel that since we've had so many families here that have had weddings, um, even between the whites and the pools, that continuing that tradition and having families from the community today have their weddings at the White Pool House it establishes importance for them. So as they as they get into the community and establish their lives, historic preservation and seeing the importance of history will become an integral part of their lives as well. So we rent out the barn behind the home, which is a, re a replica of what was here when the museum was, of course, you know, first here as the White's home. And then we also have a garden patio area with a gazebo. Many brides find that uh, the historic uh, aspects of the home really bring a different aspect to their wedding and they really feel a connection and a kinship with the home. The room we're sitting in now is the bridal room. The bridal room is where the brides will come up and get uh, get ready for their, their big day. They have a quiet moment to reflect and spend by themselves and maybe spend it with a, a loved one or a family member as they get ready. This is one of the original rooms in the home, but it was turned into a bridal room for just that purpose and is used that way almost on a weekly basis. We feel like our big accomplishment is through education and also preservation. We get a lot of people through our events that would never have come here. Most people think history, oh, ho-hum, dusty old museum. Well, that's not it. There are people that come here um, fulfilling our purpose to spread the word about the pioneer legacy. So the house has a, a great deal of meaning to many visitors. Um, even, you know, myself personally, when people moved west, they really forged a new life. And it really demonstrates a lot of the struggle that American people went through to move to a place that hardly had anything and cut out for themselves a new existence and make new roots and connections. Many of us have uh, family members that have moved from distant places and moved to an unfamiliar place and formed a new life. And that's definitely what the Whites did and also a Mr. Poole when he moved here. It was a scary experience but they overcame it and they learned a lot of new skills and they learned how to fit into their environment, which is very, very important to learn as you look at history and you look at the history of the home to really encapsulate not just the home itself, but the lives of the people that lived here and what the things uh, were that they went through on a daily basis. The White Pool House represents a portion of who we are. It took a special kind of person to leave and leave your family. It wasn't like hopping on a plane and you could go home and visit. A lot of these people never saw their families again. So when you're driving around out here and just take a minute and see what it must have taken, the kind of fortitude for these people to say, I can make a go of it and really do it. It is amazing. It's a testament to the true pioneer spirit. And I am always amazed at, at people that I meet in my life that maybe could have been a pioneer, but you know, they're few and far between. It takes a special person. Time and perseverance are the foundation for this historic landmark that paved the way for families, such like the Whites and Pools, to have a new beginning and create a legacy that lives on in Odessa's White Jewel.